so I'm just um, continuing with this building. Uh, I've done a few modifications, as you can see, and I'm just going to add um, a little roof to this area here pretty quickly. Um, so, so now I've got the object selected. Um, I'm going to click on here, the edge, and I'm just going to click drag. Uh, so it's shift to clone, and then shift drag, and that'll make a new face from there, which is good. Um, and I'm actually going to now detach this, so if I select the face and click um, down here, where's it gone? Detach, there we go. Uh, detach, to, that's fine, I'll make a new object. And that's the new object there. Um, and then I'm just going to modify this a little bit, just to make it a bit more convincing. So that the view, drag it out a bit. Make a bit of an overhang like that. There we go, that will do. Uh, so now I can simply apply, um, press X to shell modifier. Maybe like that. We have 10 centimeters, probably more like. There you go. And that'll do for my roof, I think. Taking a, a bit of creative license with these um, bits of trim here. Um, but I might go and fix that later. Maybe I haven't quite worked out how that's going to work, but that interaction doesn't look so cool. Um, oh, yeah, and actually now I'm spinning it around, I can see there's a gap between my roof. Yeah, I don't definitely don't want that, so let's just quickly go and fix that. See there's a gap there, that's bad. So I'm just gonna go back into my edge here and just drag it down. So it sits through the roof like that, that's a bit better. There you go, that'll do. Yeah, and I definitely have to sort out that edge with something ingenious. Um, but let's keep going and see if I need to. So I, I'm going to add some sort of structure around this area here. So let's go back to my main object again. And I'm just going to get use the same pr process to make a new plane. So just drag up like that. Click on the plane. And click detach. And um, it's worth noting that because everything, all my axes are aligned properly there, and I can work a lot faster if uh, um, the object was off axis or somehow it got skewed, it makes a lot of things a lot harder. Anyway, so um, I know that on these kinds of buildings, the um, they tend to stand off. Whoops! Did you see that? Did I move something by accident? No. Um, so let's just do that and that. I'm making space for a chimney here, so that's why that shape looks like that. And I want to make sure that I get all the roof, or maybe get that in a bit. So all my wall is now aligned with the edge of the building there, and now I can just add another shell modifier like this. I want the inner amount this time, not the outer amount, so I'll set that to naught. And maybe have like a uh, half a meter, so 0.5. Oops, that's pretty big. So I'll drag it down. 30 centimeters, there you go, a foot. And I. Let's drag that over there so I'll get the other wall while I'm here. That'll do, possibly. If it's not looking so happy around the front, I'll maybe I'll just do a bit more tweaking. So, um, let's do edit, paint to connect, and I'll just drag across here, tink, tink, like that. And let's make this kind of shape. Yeah, that feels a bit better. Now I can 
drag my roof line into position properly. Like that. Yeah, that's better. These guys need to be a bit higher. Yeah, that's fine. And I guess the last thing is to sort out the smoothing, so uh, I'm just going to drop a smoothing mod on. So it's just smooth, auto smooth, and get the correct angle threshold. I'm just going to set that something low, like 22. And it's always best to turn that on, prevent indirect smoothing to stop weird results coming in. There we go, like that. And that'll do nicely. And that bit is still bugging me. Uh, so. Let's see if I can just find a neat way to kind of just hide that little edge. Like that. There we go. That's cool. That'll do. Check I haven't got any gaps. Nope. Yeah, that's all good. Cool. And... Yeah, at some point I need to add something to fill that bit, but... That's pretty trivial. And in fact, let's do that now. So, drag that out. Um, I want this to be a separate object. So, again, just attach it. Make a new object. And and again, I've got this perfect edge here between two objects. Oops, just zoom out. So, if I select the new object I created, where's it gone? There it is. So I've got a perfect edge between these two things. That's bad. Get okay, little bits of light bleed down that um, sliver there. So I'm just going to make sure these two are interpenetrating.